So hi, I'm back. Um, before I moved on to doing list 27, I thought I would do a little quick bonus video um, by request. Um, I was asked on Instagram if I would let the camera roll um, to kind of film how I do my photograph that I post on Instagram. So I am going to do that, and I'm, I'm. You're going to see how fussy I am about <laughs> little details. So. This is not an area where I tend to be like, oh, we'll have to do. Um, I kind of, I, I do take my time trying to come up with a pretty photograph. So um, in this case, I try to um, use some of the elements that I have um, used, like maybe the washi will be one thing. And so I have a couple like little decorative elements that I'm pretty pretty consistent with. So I know a lot of you have kind of followed me on Instagram, kind of noticed that I have like a little style and I kind of stick to a lot of the same elements and I like doing that. It makes things consistent and I'm just kind of gathering all my goodies um, from different places that I have. Um, I just got these today and I just think they're adorable. I've been so in love with the little flare buttons. I think they're um, I think they're super fun for um, adding a little message to your work. Okay. And then I have my pins. So between these guys, it's generally kind of like where I start um, with my photo. And I've kind of been liking my, my wood tabletop lately. It keeps the photo kind of more simple than when I use the, um, patterned scrapbook paper underneath it. So I'm just going to do that today. Um, this particular layout, it just, it screams for these two. These are the shop bandeau pens that I love. Um, the funny thing is, is I really don't write with them a whole lot, but I love them in my photography, just being honest. Um, so, oh, and I just realized Aha, uh -huh. is I normally photograph this inside of my um, my uh, Foxy Dory, and this is a wide notebook cover, and it, this is the color Mango. So I do um, photograph it inside because that's usually where it lives. I just took it out. Um, in the beginning, I had to actually pin the pages up so I could photograph, but they're kind of just, they're so heavy now, they're just falling down. But I just realized I can't have that showing in my picture, so I'm gonna fix, oop, fix that. Okay, now, there we go. Okay, and then, so what I do is I usually bolster the picture, so this will lay upright like that, like sit upright, perfectly straight. And then I line up my pens And I worked at a company that did a catalog every year. Um, so I did, I do understand some basics of styling and what's really important. I wish that they had styling classes because I would so sign up for those. Maybe one day when I'm like expert at this, I'll teach styling classes because of all the parts of doing, um, doing, I don't know, being on Instagram at all. This is actually like my favorite part of it, is styling my photos. I just love it. I get like so in my head and I'm just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something so creative. Okay, so I have this little make one and a cool one. I kinda like that one. Kinda like make friends, right? Okay. Showing you all my secrets right now. And then um, a lot of times I'll put some kind of clip on it. Sometimes it's a it's a clip like that with a little like one of my little washi clips I've made. And then sometimes I use the clothespins. I just like that little extra bit of flair. And I just I love gold, the little gold glitter clips. I am obsessed with them. Okay. By now, since I photographed it so much, I generally know like how much space I'm going to have for this photo and I have to get my take the photo so I have enough in here that you can actually read what I wrote so it's kind of I have about that much space around my picture because Instagram is a very square picture 
So that means I'm either picking a washi to go here or a pair of glasses, which I'm not doing my glasses. I wear these all the time, but I love putting a little pair of glasses in my pictures. I have a lot of glasses. That's probably part of it. I am a little obsessed with different types of glasses. But I figure if you are forced to wear them, they may as well be super cute, right? So I think what I'm going to do is stick with my washi, which is my other kind of go-to decorative element. And the reason why I generally pick pens and washi and stuff is because you guys like looking at them. We all like looking at them. We're planner girls. This is our stuff that we like. So that has a lot to do with why, you know, it's in our world, those, are, those things are eye candy. If we were in the food world, you know, I would have stuff like this. Like I have this little dish of um, little candies. They look like berries. But if we were food, you know, blogger girls, this is the kind of stuff we would like to look at. I like using those from time to time. So because I have this pink and blue kind of thing going, I'm going to add this too. And I'm going to stagger it a little bit for no other reason than just to kind of create like visual appeal to kind of even up the bottom of the picture because the pink one I stopped it a little sooner it lines up here I'm going to make it line up with the page now yes I am this particular I know but I don't know I to me it makes a difference there's certain things that I'll kind of like nah that's that's fine and then there's other things that I'm really picky about in my photo my photographs I'm picky because I worked really hard to get to improve them and if you love something you should um you should work to like be really good at it you know the things that we love we tend to put more effort into learning how to do and isn't that so cute that that just happened to cling to the packaging but now I'm going to totally steal it that's adorable now I kind of wish I had used that washi in here but I really don't see a good place to put it oh actually you know what I'm lying to you I kind of see let me see I'm just going to I'm going to test it out. Okay. I'm going to pull that up a little higher so they're all at different lengths. I'm just going to put it right there. That'll work. Now it belongs. Okay, so now that I have that set up, now I'm going to photograph it. And I just posted the um, the Lister's Gonna List uh, challenge announcement, and my Instagram is blowing up because you guys are awesome and are so excited. And I'm just like, oh, I love you guys so much. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, so I'm taking my photo, and there you can see it right there. And for the most part, when it comes to these, I generally only have to do like one or two, maybe. Um, this one I set up pretty well, so I'm just kind of looking at one one or two here. The, the things that I generally have to tweak are, because I use photography lights right above me, things that have shiny plastic tend to glare back, and so those are things I might have to like tweak or adjust a little bit once I look at the picture. Um, like that made a huge difference. Okay, so that's it. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, I open this up in an app called Maldive. I add my little um, Reset Girl, you know, little uh, watermark on there. And then I uh, upload it to Instagram. So you will be seeing this on my feed. So I don't know if that was interesting. If it was, uh, certainly leave comments below and I'll keep doing it because it really isn't that big of a deal to keep the camera rolling while I do it. So... That was one of my one of my photographs. So, um, as always, I appreciate you girls watching my videos so much. And I don't know about you, but I'm just having the time of my life. I just I love being part of the planner community. I love doing this every day. It is so fun, and I am I'm grateful to you 
for making it possible for me to do this kind of stuff and for you guys giving me you know that encouragement to like keep on going it's like I love encouraging you but you guys encourage me every single day so from the bottom of my heart I thank you for that so I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day bye